Hey guys, Manga Comics here back again with another comic book haul video. And uh, this is going to include my books that I picked up this week on Wednesday, as well as uh, an eBay purchase that I'm very excited about. Um, and as usual, before we get into that, I want to thank my new subscribers. Uh, and that those people are It's Your Boy R2. The Uncanny Shane, I'm sure you guys all know him already. And Big Bug 1965. Uh, you know, if you guys aren't already subscribed to Uncanny Shane, uh, definitely go do that. He always does, you know, his comic book pickups and his back issues. Um, I think he's only got about 50 or 60 subs, which is surprising because. Uh, He's one of the coolest people on here, and uh, you know, there's so many people on, in this community that I'm surprised that we're not all just subscribed to each other. Um, you know, I really, I really like watching everybody's videos, so I, I subscribe to as many people as possible, whether they're subscribed to me or not. And uh, you know, I just really like watching everyone's videos, and. When I do subscribe to everyone, I don't get a chance to watch every every single video from everyone. I wish I could. It's just not enough time in the day. But I, I'm confident to say I watch probably 96 something percent of the videos people put up. Whether they're contest entries, just talking about anything. Because I like uh, hearing from you guys. So, uh... For uh, my knowledge, Uncanny Shane is the only one that does comic book videos uh, from these guys I named. But uh, if I'm mistaken, then uh, I think It's Your Boy R2 has 72, 74 videos up. So um, I'm going to check. And if he does, then I'll put his link in the description. Also, go subscribe to him. But I know Uncanny Shane because I watch his videos. His uh, pull list videos and what el whatever else he picks up, and uh, you know, it's just it's just cool. I, I I like everyone subscribing to each other. I'm very grateful for all my subs as well. Um, so thank you all for watching. And you know, I know I I ramble on a bit, so I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, but that's enough for that. Let's get into this haul video. Before I get into the books, though, one more time, uh, pick this up from my shop. It was a poster they had. Um, it was just free, so I was like, okay. Uh, this picture is creepy. Um, just wow, creepy. But I like the back. Um, I did not pick up original Saint Annual number one because just no. Um, I don't think it'll do anything more for this story. Of original sin, if I'm incorrect and someone's read it, please let me know in the comments and uh, I'll think about picking it up because there's still copies at my shop. I just haven't. Sorry, guys, if I sound a little hoarse. Um, my birthday was Thursday, so uh, and my sister's birthday, my older sister's was Wednesday, so I'm kind of out of it. I haven't even gotten a chance to read these books and I don't think I'm gonna read them this week. Is uh, uh with school, and uh, I'm trying to do do something with some friends. So uh, I don't think I'm gonna get a chance to read until maybe next Wednesday or something. But I want to do this haul video, guys, because I just really like doing them. So let's get into it. Picked up Flash number 35. Awesome cover, as you guys can see. You know, it's the issue we've been waiting for. Uh, Flash versus future flash and uh maybe even wally west flash will show up because in the uh futures in issue number one um wally west becomes flash um, you know, spoiler whatever yeah uh, i don't think that's too much of a spoiler if you you guys either you've read it by now or you haven't so i don't think it matters um Alright, so yeah, there was that. Um, Amazing Spider-Man, number 8. Uh, again, Miss Marvel in it. Awesome. Uh, so really excited to read. And um, the, 
the Peter, the person that's doing the art for this book, I hope he stays on. He's the guy who uh, did a lot of the Superior Spider-Man covers, interior and their covers. So, uh, I can't say enough good things about Superior Spider-Man. Um, I love the art. I love the story. So, hopefully he stays on and Ramos stays. Bye-bye. Um... And nah, I, I feel like this is a Spider-Man book that I can enjoy art-wise and story-wise. So that's always a plus. Um, then Batman Beyond Universe, number 15. Uh, Ink is back. So excited to read that. Um, these covers always excite me. And uh, for Batman. And guys, I did it. I can't believe I did, but I did it. I'm ashamed of myself. Let me know once you guys see this cover if I'm terrible for doing this. So, go to my shop, get my usual books that I get for the week uh, that I usually read. But then I picked this up as well. I'm kind of ashamed of myself. <sighs> Death of Wolverine, number four of four. Variant cover. Uh, it's, by, it's a land cover. Um, and... I told myself, you know, I, I picked up the herb. This was cover price, so it it wasn't so bad. But I picked up the herb trimpy cover for twenty dollars even, and I said, don't get sucked into the variants, Aaron. You know, they're gonna that's crazy. They're, they're, that's that's just too much. This isn't a book that'll sell. But I love this cover, and this just goes back to what I was saying last week uh, about Wonky Ninjas uh, video about picking up books on cover alone. You know, I don't know how it came off, but I wasn't saying he was taught. He was um, saying not to buy books on covers you just love, just and not to read, but uh, rarely more just to you know give it, bring it to your attention that sometimes you may buy a book that you're not even that interested in, but because of a cover you'll pick it up. But then, not even the cover, after a while you'll say, you know, I didn't really need that book and I, I'm not that big of a fan of it. So, I do take into account when I uh, get books or variants, do I really want Like, I left behind today, I left Wednesday, I left behind the Flash Monster variant because... To be honest, for me, they're just not for me. I, I even wanted to get the Neil Adams Superman variant, monster variant. Uh, you know, it's Neil Adams art. But I left it behind because um, I'm not into the monster variants. And uh, maybe if that was a regular variant cover that he just did, maybe I would have picked it up. But one, I'm not reading Superman. And two, uh, I'm not into the monster variant. So I left it behind even though it was Neil Adams art. So that's an example of me just, rather than me just thinking, oh, Neil Adams, all right, pick it up. You know, I left it behind. But my shop didn't have this. They only had the regular books the first week it came out last week. I go there, and I see, I'm, I'm, they still actually had number fours left. I couldn't believe it. And I saw this, and I just love this cover so much, you know, stuff. Weapon X, it's the first Wolverine from Hulk 180 and 181 and 182. And, you know, it's just the different Wolverines. I'm loving this cover. So, um, you know, I'm kind of upset with myself that I got the the cover. But I can't be at the same time because I just really love it. Um, so, yeah, I... I I told myself I wouldn't get sucked into the variants, and I really didn't technically. I only bought two of the variants, one for number one and one for number four. So it wasn't so bad, but, you know, oh, dang it, I couldn't believe it. I was contemplating leaving it, but I, I just love the cover. I don't think it'll do anything price-wise, but it was just something I was interested in. So, and as I said, didn't get a chance to read this. I haven't even boarded these. Uh, they've been sitting in the bag still since Wednesday. Um, but I wanted to do this video for you guys. So, that was my weekly books. And then I'm going to quickly run through these back issues that I got. It's only five or six. So, that won't take too long. Um, these are some books that I got because love the artist and I'm falling in love with the character. Yes, you guessed it. Supergirl, Michael Turner art. 
and uh, th this is a Churchill. Um, he drew this one, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, he Churchill drew this uh, subconscious Supergirl, the black one in black, and uh, Michael Turner drew this Supergirl, and then there's a variant cover, technically where they reverse. So. Churchill draws Supergirl and Michael Turner draws this Supergirl. So uh I'm gonna be out on the look for that. Uh like again, I don't need to. It's it's just it will just be for the cover. But if I can find the cheap, I will pick it up because I'm just I, I have fallen in love with Michael Turner's art, you know. Um I'm gonna be on the lookout for those Justice League books you guys have been showing with Michael Turner art with all the characters. Um on them and some of them are connecting covers just love them and uh you know every time i see them on ebay and on shop state uh, online they they want a little too much more than i'm willing to pay right now but you know even with supergirl show coming out um for cbs i think you know i don't think it's hitting people yet because you can still find her books relatively cheap and uh you know, that's good for me because I really like Supergirl. I'm trying to get as many of these as I can to read them. So, uh, so that was number five. This is number four. I'm going to need an upgrade on this. Uh, I flopped because I, I, I was so tired. You know, I didn't get a chance to examine the books before I left this guy feedback. But this one... The bottom staple is detached in the center cover on that one page. Everything else is fine, but that's irking me, and I'm going to have to upgrade this, and when I do, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't want to throw a comic away, but I know it's there, and, you know, it makes me want to just get rid of it now. That way, I'll have to go get a, another copy, but... I'm fine with it, I guess, right now, but I know I can't wait till I get a, another copy. So that was four. This is three with Lex on the cover. That's cool. And I've read all five of these. Um, and there was a this was the first arc one through five, so um, it was really cool. Like the art, um, um, Supergirl and Nightwing, I'm not so sure about, um, but they, they had a little thing going on in this. Number two, love this Michael Turner cover, oh my goodness. Definitely one of my favorite artists of, I, I just cannot get over his artwork on any character he draws. I, man, it's, it's amazing. And this is number one, I will be on the lookout for the sketch cover for this, um, but I'm satisfied with this one. It's in really good condition and it looks good. And then, so excited to get this. Um, a color, um, Gino the Dragon has a poster of this. And um, Tom Ryan has this framed in uh, his main cave. Superman, Batman number 13 um, cover. Now, I'm confused because I have number 13 as you guys saw. And, uh, they don't say that this is a variant, but, you know, it's a different cover than the original, so, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, how can they both be the first cover, um, uh, but they're different covers, so, whatever, I like it. Uh, I really like, um, number one, uh, number two of Supergirl and Superman, Batman. Number 13, I, really, I think those look cool together. Uh, kind of the same artwork going on. But, uh, yeah, so I got those. Uh, sorry for the length of this video, guys. It's running a little longer than I thought it would. But, as usual, I'm going to end this video by showing two of the breast cancer awareness covers. As it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And this week, it's going to be the Avengers and the X-Men, Uncanny X-Men. This is Avengers 31, and this is Uncanny X-Men number 20. Really love both these covers. Uh, my nephew loves it because Juggernaut's on it. Uh, Emma Frost is on it. That's cool. Uh, Cyclops got the pink optic blast. That's cool. Um, I love this cover. Um, 
Hawkeye hitting that Gundam style, it seems. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, really love getting these covers. Um, I found them in a set, like I said, on eBay. And they were cheap, so I, I picked them up. And uh, the guy was doing a portion of his, what he got for them. And, uh, he was donating a portion to Breast Cancer Awareness. So it was a win-win for me. I get the books and... Uh, you know, donated a bit, and uh, they're just really cool covers, so, you know, when I saw the Iron Man one in uh, KKN's video, that's the, I only thought that, that, I thought that was the only one, but there was eight uh, breast cancer awareness covers, so I picked them all up, I didn't want just one, um, so that's cool, uh, so, yeah, and one last thing I want to touch on, uh, I try not to get into the dirtiness of anything, but, um, Tom Ryan, uh, I want to apologize to him, uh, I, that's terrible what that Wayne Murdoch guy did with the books, um, hopefully, uh, this is, this can get cleared up still, I know, um, I don't know if he really stole the books or what happened there but hopefully it was a huge misunderstanding and he sends those books back to him or um you know do some kind of compensation because I you know I joined this community because when I before I did I, I, I saw so many of you guys videos and you were always so excited and energetic and did trades and I was a little skeptical about the trading but you know especially for myself but when I did my first trade with two more you know uh after that I had no problems trusting anyone to do anything whether I send the books first and you know and I hope this incident incident doesn't uh, have start making other people think oh well you send books for, because you know don't let one bad seed spoil the bunch that's all I'm gonna say uh you know everyone in this community treats everybody like family uh from what I've seen and um I don't think we should let that affect everyone on how we trade and what or what we do and um I think we all trust each other enough, the ones who do trades, uh, I, Bill, BMPROT said, you know, he's done trades and had no problem, uh, this is the first issue I've heard, and for, as well as, uh, Collector's Edge and Tony, uh, I'm sorry for them getting burned on those trades as well, that's just awful, um, that's terrible, you know, this, that, that's crazy, I'm not trying to end the video on the whole sad sad no but I did want to mention that I thought I should um Tom if there's anything uh, I can do let me know um but yeah yeah sorry about that but that's going to be my video sort of uh, a little rant at the end sorry guys but um uh yeah Glad I got these books. Uh, got some Supergirl books, which, as I say, fall in love with the character, loving her stories. Um, let me got let you let me know on this variant that I should I have gotten it off. I mean, I I'm I like it. I don't regret the purchase, but it's just that I told myself I wouldn't get another variant. I saw this, and I haven't seen anyone show this one. Um, and I say, yeah, pick it up. It looks cool. They have the different. The evolution of Wolverine. It looked cool. So, alright, that's gonna be my videos, guys. Um, please go sub to Uncanny Shane uh, if you haven't already. Um, yeah, this, uh, love this community. Um, I won't let what happened to Tom or Tony and Collector's Edge affect the way I trade, uh, uh, trusting you guys, I, I trust you completely, like a, a brother, or a sister, so, um, I have no trouble with, uh, if you guys, if I end up doing a trade with you guys, and you want me to send, I would have no problem sending you the books first, or whatever, not, it, I, I trust you guys completely, so, um, 
thanks for watching and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video.